welcoming Nick to the Hall of Fame is Bob McAdoo. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Gallus. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to say that it's a great honor to be here tonight. Being inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame is a childhood dream that just came true. I would like to start by thanking the man presenting me today, Bob McAdoo. Uh, I chose Bob because uh, not only is he one of the greatest players to ever play the game, because I think he knows me very well from our battles during his days with Tracer Milan. I also want to thank my friends who followed me here tonight, some of who I grew up together in Union City, New Jersey, and they're like brothers to me. Thanks, guys, for following me and supporting me throughout my high school and college career. Playing at Seton Hall, I could have never imagined that I would be playing overseas in Greece, my parents' homeland. And. Uh, because of my dream, like any basketball players, was to play in the NBA. The truth is, I was drafted by the Boston Celtics, the same year the great Larry Bird was. But I also had many offers from Greece, which I never had really visited until then. I didn't even know that basketball is, existed in Greece at this time. And coming from a poor family, the offers were very generous. Although Coach Bill Fitch in the late Red Orbach wanted me to stay, I had already made my decision, uh, a decision that I will never regret. As soon as I landed in Greece, I fell in love with the country and with my people. When Greece won the European Championship in 1987 against Russia, a whole nation ran into the streets to celebrate. From that time on, basketball became Greece's national sport, and since then, it's considered to be a powerhouse in European basketball. Since that day, there isn't a playground or a house without a hoop or a ball, and I'm sure that Dr. Naismith would be proud of this. Playing in Europe, I had the privilege to meet with and play against some of the greatest players from so many different countries around the world, and I'm very grateful for this. In the end, it's not about championships or professional or personal awards. Speaking for myself, it's about something more important. And here is a small, a small example. One day I'm walking down the street in my hometown, Thessaloniki, and a lady I didn't know stops me. At first I thought she was going to ask for an autograph or a picture as usual. <laughs> but then she hugs me and she calls me Nikos, 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 that's how they say Nick in Greek. Let me thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, you've given me the greatest gift of all. You saved my son. And she explained to me that he was an addict until he found the meaning in his life, basketball. I believe that this is the greatest gift that an athlete can offer to society. Thank you. At this time, I would like to thank my high school coaches, Sam DiPiano and Bill McKeeva, and my college coach, Bill Raftery, who believed in me, all my teammates at Seton Hall and on the Greek national team and in my Irish basketball club, and everyone who was involved in my basketball career. And of course, I want to thank the Naismith Hall of Fame committee for selecting me. My wife, Eleni, my daughter, Stella, and I are very proud and respectful of this special moment. Thank you very much. Thank you.